Hello. Um, this is a recording of how I make my own tracks using GarageBand. Um, so here's a short template of track that I made recently. So I have to break it down into pieces. Uh, so I'll try to give it a try, a hit, just for you guys to hear. And the audio system might fail, so because I'm not using any monitors, it's just that it's just built-in stuff. And the bass, I tried it to be very organic as possible. Um, but it still feels like a house music. So this is the introduction. Um, the, the clap starts to kick in after 17 bar. After it passes, it passes by the 25 bar, um, another build up will start to come. And then a champagne opening hit, I think. That one. Okay, so this part, this is a 17 bar or a 30 second mark for the build up before the drop will kick in. It's actually the first drop to kick in. Okay, so this is the first drop. It's actually very groovy to me. Uh, it's actually my favorite part. Um, it's not very common for house music nowadays to have the first drop to be this groovy. But I try to I try to make my track very groovy because especially this house music. So I have this silly vocal, I'm not going to say because I'm not going to use the word. And there, there's like a dissonance around here that sounds kind of wrong. Okay, here's a break part here. It sounds more like a hip, hip hop, but um, still very housey in terms of the beat or how the tracks produced. Okay, this is the second build up before another drop will kick in. Okay, this part is the. I tried to um, sound it more like a techno drop rather than a house one, especially because it sounds like a techno house, tech house combination of tracks. They're not very specific. Um, I want my track to be, you know, infusion. If it is like cuisine, it's infusion. So there's like a semi. Steinway Grand Piano playing and then there's this layer that kicks in it's actually a delicate valve um, it's just a plug-in found in the um, library it's actually a preset not a plug-in Okay, this one is the point where, in some cases, most vocals will play. I don't want to use some difficult terms because it might sound, it might, I might be wrong or, you know. So I tried to make this tutorial or breakdown a 
simple as possible. Okay, here's the micro pulse building up along with the deep sub bass, double smash, um, 909 and 808 clap, and then 909 snare. And then here's the heavy wobble bass kicks in. Actually, I think this final drop is kind of loud. I want it to sound like it's the final drop. You can't hear it again, so here, here's the system overload. I'm sorry for that. Okay, delicate bells are getting louder. It keeps on going, going, and keeps on going until the end, until it reaches one, uh, 193 mark in the bar. I want to make a tech house music to be as different as uh, common house music. I want it to be to sound like more uh, trans music because I I personally started trans music. I just didn't post anything in YouTube, so this is actually my first time posting a tech house music. I'm actually bad at it before, but I got encouraged by some people because you know I like tech house myself. Um, Okay, that was it. It was uh, 210 bars. So I'll start over. Uh, first story, the first uh, session I have is the when I accidentally found out. I was actually figuring out a baseline, um, but I couldn't find anything. And I was actually thinking of making a progressive house, but um, when I found this from scratch. I finally decided what about if I make this a tech house since I haven't made any tech house music by myself. So this is how it sounds. It's actually in transform pad, it's actually focused. If I transfer this into unison, this is how it sounds. It sounds more like euphoria, euphoric sound, euro house or in chorus. I really don't like it though. It doesn't fit with my specification. The tune sounds more like a groovy but not not the main thing. So I usually do focus and then I change the LP cut off. I'll just increase it a bit. And then here you can see there's like a cut off here, increase. Also right here, I just made that up because you know it's just a one hit. It's just a partial bar. Okay, here it is. It's a mysterious synth lead. It's actually it is one. Okay, so I'll, just, I'll demonstrate it to you how it sounds like. It's actually ba basically a copy paste method. Uh, from the heavy wobble bass. This one sounds more like a dark techno, you know, just to give it a bit, a bit of feel into it. It's actually on the low pluck mode. So if I change it to medium pluck, it sounds like this, or into buzzy. It's kind of off, so. It doesn't really connect. Reedy is sounds like an action movie to me. Uh, it doesn't really fit onto um, a dance music like this. This one as well sounds like a Euro house track, so I'm avoiding it. 
I'm good with low plot. So this is the first element of the first part before I made the whole track. Excuse me. After I make the bass line, I kind of figure out the beat. So I will start with the most basic part, which is the kick drum. It's actually from the loop library or the Apple loops because I'm using a garage band. I've been using Logic, uh, I mean, FL Studio before. But, uh, this is what I usually do. I do download a trial version because I don't want to buy a professional one. Moving on. So this is the festival kick. It's actually in four. The festival kick you can find it. Um, it's actually found in the Apple Loops. In case you're wondering. Um, so this is how it sounds like. It's a basic. It sounds more like an I could be the one by Avicii kick. So there, there's nothing going on in there. Even a comp not even a compressor has been running. Okay, so when it hits the first drop, the kick will change. I basically changed it into a different different loop. Okay, so the clap along with the kick drum, the introduction sounds like this. It sounds like a basic one. And on the for the first bar, it sounds like this. Uh, so this part, I actually love this part because um, it gives the track a little bit of blend into a different genre. So I um, try to, so I'm trying to make it sounds more a dif more different because house music sometimes do get monotonous sometimes. So I just added this to add a sort of blend baby that's how you say it and then there's nothing much going on I in here just like the introduction I just do remember how I made this track this is I find I made from scratch baseline and then okay so this is the drums the first drum that hits for the drop Make it into two bars length. It's, I, it sounds like more like a techno to me. Well, it is a techno. It's only on 128 BPM. I actually been decided to um, move it into 135, but it sounds more like a trance music too, especially with the rise of the EDM. So I just stick to 128. It's the safest to me. Um, it's the safest maybe road. That's how you describe it. Actually, I add a laser noise just to. Um, I don't want to overdo it. I just want something that. Um, okay, so that was the drums. So after that, making my first chord the melody which is well it's just a straight line monotonous more harmonic I guess that's how it sounds like it's actually based on three octaves uh, one is a lower one which kind of act as a virtual bass for its own um, the central one is right here and then there's like a high note This is how it sounds like. Basically, the reason why it sounds like this is because I added a spreader. I haven't really used spreader that much, but I put the in intensity in 14%. It's on manual. Um, the channel EQ is designed to be like this. I actually saved it. It's on synth lead presence just to boost the presence of the um, synth and then I added a, sp a spread delay it's actually a manual um, it's basically that I didn't 
touch anything I just move the cycle range up a bit and then the left mix lower and then and this is my favorite plugin of all it's actually um, platinum verb it's actually um, to me it's closer to the reverb 2 of FL studio but I think this is more precise sound so without the reverb this sounds like uh, it sounds like this it's very dry but sometimes it it sounds like it wants to give you the boost okay so so I want to make my own one not the main drop so basically what I do every time I want to draw or construct a chord I'll just hit command button if you're using a Mac it's a very important way to hit the command first sounds more like traffic like yes though sounds like that I don't know if it is right so here's a little bit melody it is not really the best one it's just a sample that I want to Even though it's on mono key, um, it gives a little bit of groove into it. Okay, so basically this is the first. This is how I make a melody. Sometimes after that, I customize it in the controls. Sometimes I increase the cut off. In case one of you guys are wondering how I make my track, so I basically start off with, or basically draw a chord, I just hit new tracks, and then there's the prompt that asks if what instrument are you gonna use, whether if it's audio or a drummer, so usually I'll, I use this plugin. Actually in default mode, uh, it starts, I think this is how usually, I don't know how you... And then here, um... Hit synthesizer if you click that one it goes back to the main you know I haven't really downloaded everything because it's not really useful to me um, not in my genre okay so most of the time I use super saw lead it actually has a very fantastic stab mode into it Sounds like a 2006 Sensation Black, but uh, you know, I just like it. And then sometimes, or okay, this part, uh, what I'm demonstrating to you is how I add effects into my chord. So I just hit this one. If actually you want to add something, if you know, especially if this audio box right here. I'm sorry for that. I just hit this one that is kind of it glows on the bottom it actually adds one as well like that it actually fills up so it's not really hidden you have to figure it out by yourself um, it just you know it's just hidden okay we'll try it with the platinum verb I usually just increase the wet um, what part of the platinum verb and the dryness I'll decrease that and then reverb time, I'll increase it too. So this is how it sounds like. Hopefully it's good. And then I'll try to add a kick drum. It's actually my first time. Um, I'm sorry that I might not be the best one. But I try my best to do it. Okay, so this is the micro pulse. Well, not really micro pulse because this is a copy paste. Um, it's a super solid lead. Um, it sounds like this. This is the chord that we made a while ago. And then if you want to rename the region, either you have you, you could press shift and then N, or you can just double click it or right click. It's actually 
when you're in a Mac, um, you have you just need to use two fingers. Okay, so this is so we'll try it how it sounds like with the beats. So if you want to make it a loop, uh, usually if you uh, hover your mouse right here, your cursor, you can see that um, bar and a loop icon. That means that you're making a loop. So I'll just stretch that. Actually, when I started this, I actually find um, GarageBand is not as useful as other as one, but I do finally figure out that it's actually a good one. It's actually, it's not really, it's not complete unlike the Logic Pro, but if you're a beginner, um, this is the best way. So, yeah, especially if you want to use the Apple products, this is the same thing I can recommend, but it's actually based on creativity. There's no right or wrong, there's no, you know, uh, right software for you to use it's just that it's based on your creativity okay so i'll try it i hopefully it sounds good it's off okay so that was it um for the how i make my super saw lead so i'll move back to the track i added this string in some ensemble i forgot to pronounce the last word um, there's a right word and maybe I'll just search in Google ensemble ensemble okay ensemble um, it's like timber it's not actually timber uh, it's actually timbre usually in tutorials they sometimes pronounce, pronounce it wrong timber is not actually timber it's actually timbre but um, this one it's actually a pad it's actually based on the e emerald haze pad it actually sounds good to me Sounds more like a Cosmic Gate introduction. So this is the part where it sounds more like a trance rather than a tech house. Just to have a little bit of layer into it, a slight difference. If I kick in the Phi... So this is the... with the string, this is how it does. This is how it performs. So the string is on an auto filter. In case you're wondering, um, if you search it on the internet, some sometimes usually resources will say that GarageBand doesn't have a sidechain. So actually it does. I sh actually just figured it out when I was... Um... Okay, so I've been looking at the, these presets and I found out that every time I hit that I, I click something, I forgot what it was. The rate moves into 4, so usually this one is on 1 fourth. And then I'll, you, I put the intensity into 100% and the cutoff into 100% if you really want to hear the track doing. So this is how it sounds like. It's not like my previous logic, my, my previous the loop. I keep on saying Logic Pro, but I really want that. But um, it's actually there. Unlike the Fruit Loop Studios, that it's just heat gross beat. It's usually, it's a gross beat that um, produces the best side chains. Not really a compressor. It's actually a compressor, but I don't know. It just it has a graph into it. You can where you can customize where, where this. You can really see the waveform. It's just that it's you that you have to figure it out. Actually, been thinking about it um, to make to create a different one from by using this remnant um, pads into a different track. Another one, maybe I'd, I try. I'll try it next time if I have time because I'm so busy at school. I don't even have time to go to work. Um, I'm very I'm overloaded. But um, okay. This is the delicate bells that I was been have been telling you about. It actually adds a little bit of layer as la, um, make it make the making the drop less boring. Like I said, it's on auto filter too. You 
can hear the I'll just use my hand as a metronome okay so I basically made this uh, as from a scratch it's actually in dual octaves but once you have this the same key as you're pressing in the lower octave it more sounds more like it's just one there's nothing much difference in there um what else to add more about this track some of the effects are just from a loop clap i really I don't want to forget about the clap because it's very vital if you have a very it's if you are planning to make dance music it's a basic element for groove so this is how the drop sounds like that would be all